Okay, here we are at the University of South Florida, and uh, we're going to be demonstrating the Plasma Edge PE50 system that's installed in the uh, Bio uh, uh, Molecular Laboratory. Yeah. And um, hi, uh, I'm Kranti. I'm working as a research assistant in this lab. I'm a PhD student here. So um, we've been working on this. Uh, we've been using this plasma cleaner since closely four weeks now, and it works great. So now I'll be demonstrating a small program using this plasma edge machine. Here, we've loaded these glass cover slips onto this boat here. And now, we use this plasma edge machine to clean the glass cover slips of any organics or fingerprint oils and stuff so that we can use this glass cover slip for uh, in EVM evaporation of metals. So we get thin layers of uh, titanium and gold on these cover slips. Now, uh, we have this oil pump which uh, creates vacuum in this chamber here and we try to keep this chamber really clean of any organic material. So um, right now I'm switching on this machine. First we turn this oxygen cylinder. It uses oxygen plasma. The pressure is at 15 psi. And we're loading this sample into the chamber. And we simply hold it close and we start, There's this, this has a pre-programmed um, program and here it has got a plasma time of five, five minutes already programmed in it so I'm just starting the program here and initially it pumps the vacuum and this set point and this pumps the vacuum to this set point and then uh, the plasma starts so it's going to take approximately one to two minutes to pump down and maybe five minutes for the plasma run. Are you only using uh, oxygen right now? Is that the only yes. gas? Yes, oxygen. That's it. So you have a second gas control. Yes, but we're using air for now, for purging. Right. But we can connect nitrogen if we require. Sure. But right now it's just running on oxygen. Right. Here are the two rotameters here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the one connected to the oxygen tank. And here we control the flow rate. Right. Now is that preset or do you... Uh, yeah, it's actually preset. We calibrate it before we start this okay. for the first time. So you so don't really... On the, no, we don't really actually categorize every time we do it. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's the same cover slip that I use for many, many times. Mm -hmm. So I keep this program set and we use it for... Until somebody actually uses it for a different purpose or different application. Right. So now you see it's pumping down pretty fast. Depends the pump down time also depends on how clean the samples are. If the samples are sonicated first in ethanol in 70 percent ethanol, then it doesn't take too long to pump down. But if they're really not clean, they have some particles on them, it takes a little bit longer to pump down. You get down a lot of outcasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should be getting down there now. Where are we? Yeah. 15. It goes down pretty fast once it starts. Uh huh. And your set point is set where? Uh, 500 millitor. Okay. That's uh, relatively high, but I guess mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, seem to suit your purposes. Yeah. Get down there now. Under 500. Okay, right. there it just carries so the gas. Gas is stabilizing right now in the chamber, and oxygen is purging into the chamber right now. Mm -hmm. And there's a flow rate. So now the plasma is going to start automatically. There you see the plasma glow in purple bluish color. You have your sample uh, boat almost perfectly centered in there. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. And then you have a roughly a two minute process time. Yeah, actually we're plasma cleaning it for five minutes just because we want to remove any organics or the ethanol which is left over or any fingerprint oils. So we're not specifically uh, categorizing the 
H rates in this machine. We are just using it to clean organics. So it serves our purpose and that's why we got this customized machine. So for now, everything works perfect. Pretty good. And yeah. specifically, it's very important in my process because the depositions that I do are very, very thin. On these glass cover slips, I deposit 10 nanometers of titanium and 20 nanometers of gold upon that. So even the total deposition is just like 30 nanometers. So the glass cover slip should be really, really clean of any organics, of any particles. So even if there is slight organic layer on top of it, during my process, which I use it for micro contact printing, uh, the glass cover slips don't work. Delaminate? Yeah, the gold and titanium delaminate from the glass cover yeah, slips. Yeah. And this is an evaporated process, you yes, said, not sputtered. Yes. No, okay. it's, it's an evaporated process. It's in using the e-beam okay. under high vacuum, mm -hmm. around four to six microtor. Mm -hmm. Now, is this? Um, I see you're running right now down to just under three minutes. Yeah. To go. Mm -hmm. um, how long does it take you to program a complete sequence if you uh, needed to start from scratch? This is a pretty user-friendly machine. It just took me less than a minute to program uh, different things. Mm -hmm. Here are the main uh, parameters that it allows us to program is the plasma time, the actual plasma time, uh, the purge time, the vacuum pump down alarm time. Uh, this is when we put a set time alarm where if the vacuum doesn't go to that point, for example, if you set it for two minutes and then it waits until the vacuum goes down to the set point. If it doesn't within two minutes, then the alarm goes off and the chamber opens right away. So that means the glass cover slips are contaminated or there's a lot of contamination on those samples. So we set this vacuum set point for four minutes because we're gonna load a lot of samples at a time. So it's gonna take two minutes to two and a half, but with put the set point at four minutes for the vacuum alarm. And for the purge time for oxygen and purge time for the air or nitrogen. So these are six to seven parameters we can actually set on these. And it's pretty user friendly, just simple arrow keys to which helps us navigate and then the enter key to enter the parameters. So it just takes less than a minute to program. And once we program it, the program stays until we actually change it again. Right, so it's basically one button operation. Yes, because perfectly. you have Because you have your gas yes. already preset. Yes, yes. And everything is calibrated the first time we use it, the gas pressures and the vacuum pump starting for the first time. That's it pretty much after that. We don't usually mess with any of these. Mm -hmm. And to start the machine once everything is set, it just takes two buttons to press. Press twice the enter button to actually start the machine. So it just takes two buttons, which is less than Mm -hmm. Two seconds. Right. So it's pretty user friendly. What, and we like it. What power are you running this at right now? I didn't categorize the RF power, but since there's calibration here, we're setting it at three fourths the level. And that's working for us. Okay. Because I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm not very familiar with the power levels, RF power levels. But I've been categorizing this machine so that it suits my usage. Okay. And we have uh, less than thirty seconds to go on the process. And then it'll uh, begin the vent for yes. So it's pumping down the vacuum right now for the vacuum pump to get stabilized to the normal set point, which is 500 millitor. And then once it gets to that point, the valve is shut, and then the air purges in and the chamber opens. So it might take a minute or two for that to happen. 